Hi everyone, welcome to Building Public with Natively. So, so many of you asked how to connect the Superbase or how to create a database for your mobile apps with Natively. What I'm gonna do in this uh, video, I'm gonna walk you through building a very simple app and build the database and then, you know, connect the Superbase. So we have, you know, very nice backend and the database already set up for your mobile app. So I'm going to walk you through the steps one by one, and then we're going to see how it is. So I'm going to just share my screen, but also meanwhile, before sharing your screen is that if you have any ideas or if you want to like want me to do something for the next video, please comment and then drop your questions or your suggestions. And also if you would like to come and build with me together uh, and do a live recording or build in public, just please drop a comment and don't forget to subscribe and follow us and also Please share your projects with us. So let me share the screen and let's just start right away building. This is perfect. So you can see my, uh, I'm in natively. So we want to build a native mobile app for iOS and Android. And we didn't need to know coding. So no coding is required. You can build your app as you want. So for today, I really want to build, because we do lots of hackathons. We do lots of boot camps, like web coding boot camps. So I want to build an app where, you know, it's easy to, for participants to register there. So let's say that build an app for a hackathon, participation, participation, registration, yes. So I would go with a very simple comment or prompt here. I don't want to, you know, overcomplicate uh, my prompt. Uh, I want to see what will be the result. So let's, let's like give it a go. So it starts building and let me walk you through the platform. So here you can see your account and you can manage your account. You can join our Discord, which I really kind of, you know, recommend you to join because it's an amazing community and you can learn a lot. You can ask any questions and also you can find other builders who can help you with your app or you can see what others are building. In more, we can see about the Superbase. So Superbase is the solution for the database that like we're using. So Imagine that database or super base is like your Google folders, you know, or it's like a memory chip where it stores all the memories, all the records. So you need a backend, you need a database for your mobile app. We have the environment variables, we have deployed the app. So here you can deploy the app in iOS and Android. And this is, you know, where you can also download your APK um, just to launch your app in Android. So this is like super important. and like one of the base features of natively. And of course you can share your project with others. You can download the code as a zip file. You can also, you know, see the project setting. Perfect, we have our app here. So this app is built and let's see, you know, it's a very simple one. Let's go to uh, registration. We have, you know, name, surname, university and everything else. So this is complete registration. So I think, so this is, you know, what we have now. We just go and do the super base, the database connection. So we connect with a super base here. Okay. So we authorize it. So we gave the access to natively to build the backend, to build a super base, uh, to build the database for you, the tables and everything else. So once we connect it, we connect the uh, next is the project. So I already have built the project, but if you can create a new project, you can click here and then you can you know, create the name, the email organization, the name, the password, and then you just create it and that's it. And then it pops up here. So I already have, I will connect it. So let's connect with, with this project. It's connected. Amazing. So let's say that let's go to the dashboard. If you can see anything there. Yeah. Superbase dashboard. Amazing. Yeah. There is nothing here now. So let's say that please connect the app with super base and build the back in. let's give it a go and let's see how it is gonna work so here we see that you know it's connecting the super base it got the the key to it it's reading the date the table so it's kind of creating the tables you know and reading them so it just does the whole thing itself we don't need to touch anything in database so we just let natively to do it for us we can check you know the super base if something is happening there or not. Yes, there are two tables now. You can look, if you go here in the table editor, you can see it here. There is the information, uh, the hackathons, the registration. And also if you can see here, project overview, you can actually see how it looks nice. So it's building, that's amazing. We can kind of try it out. So yeah, like if you read through all these things, you can see what are the steps that natively 
is taking with Superbase. Perfect. So it's just giving us a summary of what it done. Yeah. Also the security features are there, how it works. Perfect. So it seems that we're almost done. So let's see the Superbase dashboard. Okay. Perfect. You have two tables. Look at the tables. Okay. Nice. And perfect. So nice, nice. Everything is done almost. Perfect. So let's try it out. Jaw hate, native dev, universities, major business. So because now, you know, like we have a database, but let, let's see if it works, you know, if you can insert study, year study, senior, team name, winners, level, met, or let's say entry met. Nice. So these are the rules. Let's check it out. If it's something happened. Yes. You see, it works. Cool. Just nice. So yeah, you see, now you can actually, so here you can, so we did it. So it works. This is how you connect the database. Um, yeah, it also changed here, my information. So it updated my profile based on that. And of course, what I can do is I can change the design. Let me do it as a last state. I really like this design. So please use, please use this for the design. Yeah. So we can see that it's already here. Nice. So this is very easy how to connect the super base and there's not much other steps to do. So let's see how it will play with the design. Because I love that design actually. It's, it just looks very much hackathon-ish type. And of course, you know, I would love to format these things, you know, properly, but that's, you know, the second, the third steps, and then you can do that a lot. Cause yeah, for now, we just wanted to do the super base and you saw that it's quite smooth. It's quite easy. And you just have to, you know, check it if it works. And if, you know, the, day, the tables are being filled, then that's nice. And you can see the name, email, university. Also, you know, you can put a approval, a column where you can approve some people, some like, you know, participants, some not. And that's like up to you how do you they want to design. But yeah, this is the, the new design. Cool. This is my app. Wow. This is nice. I love this actually. This is cool. I can work with this. Yeah, I can really make this happen. I can launch this app. I love it. I love it. I love it. Nice. So this is it for this session. And I hope that you enjoy it and you learn how to do the backend and the database or the support base. So thanks a lot for watching it.